If you think black history should only be taught during the month of February, 2024 is going to suck for you. Black history is American history. And if you don't agree, well, I've got your whole year planned out. January, health care. Obamacare, anyone? This include hospitals and hearts. Provident Hospital, which is open to Chicago in the 1890s, was the first integrated hospital in America. Now, it was opened by Dr. Daniel Hell Williams, the man to first perform an open heart surgery in America. That's right. The first interracial hospital and the first open heart surgery was performed by a black American man. Now, what's also crazy by this hospital, Provident, is that he required the staff to be integrated and the patients that came in were integrated. If you took black Americans out of health care, you'd be screwed. For February, you do you, boo. This brings us to March, and GPS has got to go. Dr. Gladys West, a Virginia State alumni, went to the Naval Surface Warfare Center, never having seen a computer, and she could do math so complex, she figured out the gravitational pull on the oceans in the Earth from the moon. And what this did is it helped us create the foundation for GPS so we could accurately pinpoint where you are. Uh, April. Did you get your shot from the pandemic? I don't know if you knew this, but in the early 1700s, in the Massachusetts, there was a small smallpox outbreak where 14% of the population died. One in three would pass away from smallpox. And there was an enslaved American man named Onesimus. That's all we know about him. But he knew how to deal with smallpox due to the traditional medicine that had been passed down through his African heritage. This was also practiced in Turkey and China. But what he did is you take a little bit of the infected pus of smallpox and you would, under the care of a doctor, put it into your own skin so your bodies begin to build antibodies to smallpox, which we now know is inoculation, which also led to the whole field of vaccination. When it comes to May, your golf game is really going to suck because George Grant, the first black American professor at Harvard and such a badass dentist that the president of Harvard went to Dr. George Grant for dental care, he invented the golf tee. You're not going to make par this year. It's June and it's summertime and ranch dressing, it's got to go because a cowboy from Nebraska named Steve Henson, a black American man who was a plumbing contractor in Alaska, created ranch powder for his employees and it was such a big hit that when he retired he moved to California and bought a ranch named Hidden Valley Ranch and thus began the Hidden Valley Ranch condiment. That's the number one condiment in the world. <laughs> Food's gonna suck. Now it's July and you're probably on your family vacation and under the assumption your home is safe with your home security system, right? In the 1960s, Marie von Breiten Brown invented what has became the first home security system, complete with two-way communication, a video camera. She could remotely unlock and lock the front door, and she had panic buttons to the police and fire department in her apartment in New York. When we get to August, to the dog days of summer, you're going to have to pretty much give up air conditioning because the AC thermostat was invented by a man named David Crossway, who held 39 U.S. patents and 80 international patents related to heating, air conditioning, and HVAC. Now, September is going to be a month for you to get really skinny because you're going to have to give up sugar. In 1843, a Creole American man named Norbert Ryu developed what became the sugar evaporation process, which completely revolutionized the sugar industry, and many of his techniques are still used today. And October is going to be a really dark month for you because Louis Latimer is the one who invented the carbon filament for the light bulb for Thomas Edison. And Louis Latimer is so brilliant. He's also the one that drew the design on the patent for Alexander Graham Bell on the telephone. Now, I tried to be nice and hold off till November for this, but you're going to have to give up electronic consumer products because a gentleman named Otis Boykin, who attended Fisk University, created and patented this variable resistance resistor, which instead of having a uh, consistent current through it, it now could change it up. And what this did is it revolutionized consumer electronic products in such a way, due to how it dealt with atmospheric conditions, it drove prices down drastically. And these resistors are still used in modern electronics all over the world, including the control for the pacemaker and guided missile systems. Yeah, good time to read a book.
I know December should be a happy month for you with Christmas and all, but I'm going to go ahead and because you're going to have to give up your cell phone. That's right. Your cell phone will become a paperweight because Jesse Eugene Russell, a Tennessee State University alumni, created what is the Digital Wireless Networks, which allows us to transfer data, stream video, text, and everything else we do. Without it, your cell phone's a paperweight. Black history is American history. Have a happy new year.